All righty. Take three. Incredible greetings, creators. I am Shakira, the professor of HS8365, and I'm going to show you how to properly set up your files for 20 ounce sublimation tumblers. Now, you can technically follow this if you know the dimensions of any other things that you want to do. There's a couple different ways to do this, and each way serves a different purpose, and it's for a different reason. If you're adding text, if you're adding pictures, if you're customizing it like from scratch, it's all different. So be sure sure to like and follow if you want to follow this series on how to do your tumblr templates okay as you can see i am using canva there is a canva pro version but you don't have to use that to do what i'm going to show you there are other benefits to having canva pro but just to be able to size up your tumblr templates from your mobile device you don't have to have the pro version first thing you're going to do is hit the plus sign in the middle if you're printing to eight and a half by 11 paper, that's what you're gonna to wanna to set this up to. With this particular one we're doing, like I said, we're not doing any extra to it, not putting any names, not adding any images that need to be cut off. We're just going to do a Tumblr wrap or Tumblr template that maybe you download it from somewhere and you're gonna print it as is, okay? So we're gonna to go to custom size. You wanna make sure that you do click on the drop down and change to your unit of measurement. I'm already in inches. And you want to set this up for 11 by 8.5. I already have that, but you would type in the width of 11 and the height of 8.5. But I'm just going to click on my recent. This is the size paper that you are going to print to. Now we're going to go ahead and go to our gallery. I'm just going to go to images. And I'm going to click on this one that I downloaded, you know, randomly from a group. And I'm going to go add to page. Because I'm not adding anything to this, I can do it this way where I'm going to do it on this page. With that selected, you're going to scroll over to position. On pos From position, you're going to click on advanced. You want to make sure that the aspect ratio is unlocked and you're going to go to your width and you're going to put in 9.35. Well, I'm going to put in 9.35 by 8.15. This is because I use tumblers, 20 ounce tumblers from Johnson's Plastics Plus. They measure eight inches in height and 9.25 inches around. I use a, like my rule of thumb is 0.1 for the width. I add that onto it and I add 0.125 for the height. So whatever measurements you get, when you measure your tumblers, you're going to add on 0.15 for the height and 0.1 for the width. So mine turns out to be 9.35 by 8.15. Okay. And we're going to hit next and it's going to change the size of that. We're going to exit out of it and then move this up and over. Um, leaving a little bit of space, of course, on the edges, um, I don't really like to put it in the middle because of how I wrap my tumblers. I like to kind of get as close to uh, the left edge without, you know, being in the print margin. So from here, even though this is just technically a regular design and you don't have to mirror, you may want to get in the practice of always mirroring it. So we're going to go scroll back over and you're going to go to flip and we're just going to mirror it horizontally. All right. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and save this by clicking on the three dots at the top and you would then retitle this. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Oh, well, I already did it. So let's just go colorful. Um, heart. 20 ounce. Wrap tutorial or just put tut. Okay. All right. Now that I have that, I'm going to click out of it. Come on. All right. We'll just hit save. And now I want to go ahead and hit the top one and I want to download it. So I'm going to click that first one. I'm going to see download and I'm gonna change that to a JPEG. There's no transparent pixels to this. So I can do, I mean, if you wanna do it as a JPEG, you can. It doesn't matter either way. I mean, if you wanna do it as a PNG, so you can choose to do it as a PNG, but this is not, um, like I said, it's all solid. 
And then if you're ever doing a PNG, make sure you always choose transparent background. So like I said, you can save it that way or just a JPEG. And we're gonna go ahead and hit download. All right, once it downloads, it will be there. Now you can go find it in your gallery and then send it to print. All right, so now I'm here in my image gallery. I want you to pay attention to how these images look. This one seems small. My white, my background is white, so you can't really tell the difference. But if I go to the original, see how it fills up the page. Um, then I'm going to come here and it shrinks down because there is a little bit of white on the edges. So I'm going to choose to print this one. So I'm going to click on the three dots at the bottom because I have a Samsung um, Galaxy Note. However you get to your print settings from yours is what you will do. Here, once you have your printer up, I'm just going to click on the drop down. You're going to change this to letter because that's the size paper you're printing to. You can see at the bottom where that changed. And then you're just going to hit print and it will send it to your printer and you will be done. It's going to be sized correctly for your 20 ounce tumbler. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to go ahead and hit that follow if you're not following us already. Give this video a thumbs up, favorite it, share it out. Leave us a comment to let us know if it was helpful for you. And then come on back um, after you have completed your perfect tumbler and let us know how it worked out for you. Until next time, guys, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.